Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to this week's 1v1 here at Sacred 8 Studios, Tattoos, Comics, and Collectibles. It is your boy X. Also with us this week is the big man, the big dog himself What's over up? there. Uh, Bootleg Comics. Yo. Hey. All right. To everybody in chat, how is everyone doing today? Let me go ahead and move all this around. East bound and down. All right. How is everyone doing this week? What is new? What is new? What is new? Woo, my chemical romance. I know, right? Oh, man. How is everybody doing in chat? What is new this week? How is everyone going for? Bootleg says uh, Spock. What's up? What's up, dude? What up? What up? What up? Okay, everybody. So this is a 1v1 comic night. For anybody that does not know the rules of the Comic Night, it is very simple. You have books that are up by us, Sacred 8 Studios, and you have books that are up by our family and ultimate friend, uh, Bootleg Comics. Whatever you see on the actual uh, screen, which is A, B, and or C. Let's go ahead and shrink this down just a tiny bit. Oops, let's undo that. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. Bootleg. There we go. Uh, let's do that. Here, I'll put it up here. My man. Boom. Right to the top. Okay, we have A, we have B, we have C right here on the screen. And then, of course, we have the big da 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 -dee book right then and there. Uh, if you want to, this is a claim sale. So the first one is, um, Something is Killing the Children, First Print, Near Mint. You see it there at $350. Uh, you can make an offer on it. You have B, the first uh, complete run of Year One Batman, uh, one through four, part one through four. And then you have the Uncanny X-Men, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister on um, C, going for 95 And then you have the big D, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This one, I believe, is number three or four. Uh, this is the rarest issue to find because... Uh, they made a, uh, a reference to Marvel Comics calling them a maxi pad. Apparently, they got really but uh, buttered over that. They retrieved the or they recalled the issue. And so now it's a very low print book. But if you wanted to grab any of these books, you could absolutely just say, Give me the big D. You can say A, B, or C, and you can make an offer, such as 250, a 50, whatever you want to see. So good to see all you guys in the chat. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, with our books. Let's go ahead and pull those, Pep, and why don't you throw some up from yourself, brother? No. Okay, X, how you doing? I hope all is well. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Nice to see you all back. Pueblo, how you doing, brother? I have to... I had... I have to be uh, a spectator today. I can't put anything in my box, giggity, until I pay my current debts to you all. Your legs are safe one more week. George, what's going on, GL? Maybe I'll be nice for Spock. Maybe... What's up, my king? Says Axis. What's going on, my king? Say on that king shit. How's everyone doing this week? Did anyone go see Dune? Has anyone seen the new Ghostbusters yet? I hear that the new Ghostbusters uh, was a 50-50. A lot of people liked it. Some people didn't. But all right. These are going to be the first ones up from Bootleg Comics. Let us know uh, what you're looking at. Go ahead, uh, Bootleg. What do you got here? So on A, we have a... A first appearance of Gen 13. Um, it's a Jim Lee cover. It's the gold variant to Death May Black. Uh, <clears throat> and it's at a 9.4. We have on B, Amazing Spider-Man 77. Um, and it's a lizard. And then... Uh, what's his name? Fucking the dude from Fantastic Four uh, on the cover. Oh, uh, the Human Torch. Yes, sir. With and the United Bank loan. <laughs> and that's at a 6.5 for 50. We have the first uh, appearance of the Scarlet Spider on C um, at a 9.2. It's Web of Spider-Man 118. And then we have a variant, Amazing Spider-Man 620. It's a Deadpool variant. We're going to go ahead and throw that for 35. It's in great condition, uh, near mint. Um, it's one of those harder to find Deadpool variants from, from the 2000s. And that's on Big D. Okay, what's going on, Joff Man? Hey, let me know when you're free, dude. Stop by tomorrow if you got a chance. Or uh, let me know because I know you want to get uh, tattooed. Uh, Stax will be here 
in three weeks. Come on down and hang out. Jose Cortina, what's going on? To my man Ricky Spanish, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to go check out GB. Hopefully it's good. All right. Um, let's see. GL says at uh, Spock, you ruined the moment. Spock, my fault. Vulcans aren't good with humor, my man. Okay, on A, we do have it for 29.4 CGC. We have 6.5 B. Um, going for 50 bucks and or best offer for a Silver Age Spider-Man. Not too bad for the ASM. For the first appearance of the Scarlet Spider, right there, 9.2 at a 75 and or best offer. And then on the big da 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 we have this one over here, $35 and or best offer for the ASM. Uh, that one is number... 620. 620. Uh, the Deadpool variant uh, mock cover for $35 and or best offer. All right, let me pull up your comments because I can't see shit with my eyes. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to William Shatner today. Uh, did anybody get any of the new uh, Magic the Gathering Fallout uh, packs? Has anyone paid $45 for them at Intergalactic? Oh, man. Okay. Do we have any offers? What are you guys looking for tonight besides a good time and a hand job? Okay, let's go ahead and move A, B, and C. Oh, let's see. Ghostbusters just came out. I know that um, Dune 2 is the one that everyone's going about. Green Lantern Slab, maybe? Do you have any Green Lantern Slabs? No Green Lantern Slabs. Not no. this week, but we will look what we got for you, GL. All right. Are these yours or ours? These ones are mine. Cool. All right. On A, for $5, we have Batman Rebirth. Number 24 is the proposal of Catwoman and Batman. First print for five or best offer. On B, we have Hulk 341, a McFarlane cover. That's the Gray Hulk for five or best offer. On C, we have Dead X Men number one um, variant with Jubilee. Five or best offer. And on the Big D, we have the Old Man Logan number two. Variant one in twenty five, with uh, the the whole twenty one uh, homage for ten or best offer. All right, all right. What do we got going on here? King Kong gets the Green Lantern ring. Not sure when that comic comes out, but this one I would like to have two copies, please. Uh, we will definitely check that out for you. B for three says uh, Ricky Spanish sold. Sold. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Ricky Spanish. Been spreading some managed uh, democracy with stacks this week, so we started chatting up some ideas. See you on 420, perro. Hey. Uh, two for A asks GL. Sold. Sold to, Green, uh, to GL, to George, and Buffy. D for seven asks uh, Ricky Spanish. Sold. Sold. Also, Joff, for fucking democracy, Super Earth will prevail. My man. All right, posting to Tattooing Collector Club. If you guys would like to share this feed to any comic groups or any friends that you would like to, we always appreciate it. See if you guys want to collect anything else for us, uh, from us, or with us. Got that unknown Henson in the back right there with some awesome retro toys. Uh, we do have uh, some new sacred packs coming up. Also, remember, on April 20th, on 420 itself, we are having our next Comic-Con, our first Comic-Con of the year. We're going to have some comics, some food vendors, some card vendors, some video game vendors that will be uh, presenting. We also have our Tattoo Flash Day. We will have Morgan, fucking Morgan. She's coming in from um, 
New Jersey, we have our buddy Stax, Eddie Zavala from up north, one of the oldest homies that will be tattooing as well. And then we have uh, I Am The Smile Ghost, which is Butch. We have uh, Vato At A Time, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Armando. And then we do have um, Deathmatch, which is Steven, who will be presenting Riot's Tri-Tips, Whole Food Vegan Donuts, Acme Coffee. Need us say more? Come and collect some cool shit. Come and cosplay. It's free to come in and hang out all day. Tattoos and comics are not free, so don't be cheap. All right. I would assume these are our books. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's go over and switch that big bad boy. Move this over. Nope. Oh, there we go. Logo, logo. Help me. All right. Let's remove that. There we go. Okay, on A, we have the Uncanny X-Men, the first Jim Lee work on a X-Men book. This is the first print going for $10, uh, direct edition near mint uh, and or best offer. We do have year two of Batman. I believe that one is just a single uh, issue itself. Mm -hmm. uh, that one is going for $20 and or best offer for the iconic cover and story. The Killing Joke, Batman the Killing Joke, first Print near mint eighty dollars and or best offer on C and on the big D right there third appearance of Venom first full cover with Venom uh, classic Todd McFarlane Amazing Spider Man three sixteen going for one hundred twenty five and or best offer what do we got Buffy and I will be there absolutely man can't wait to see you there uh, A for six says uh, Ricky Spanish absolutely Sacred Society says sold access we will see you there brother. Any tattoos I can apply with warm water, says Iconic Finds. Uh, yeah, but it's got to be on your butthole. I don't write the rules. Um, okay, but there will be a bunch of Flash you guys can get. We also have the new Wheel of Misfortune you guys can check out here at Sacred 8 Studios, um, as well as of the new uh, Flash bottle uh, f flash Bombs. I am always booked with tattoos. I appreciate everyone who collects from me. But we do have three new artists in the shop that are trying to get their feet off the ground and getting booked. If you guys want to grab some pretty cool flash, some pretty cool deals, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff that's not super crazy big like I do, um, go ahead. Hit them up. You have I Am The Smile Ghost. You have Deathmatch831. And you have Vato Out Of Time. Go and check them out. Okay. Done. There we go. All right. Butthole warm water. Let's go. All right. So on A, we do have uh, Amazing Spider-Man. What is that? 13? Number one. Is that number one? Yep. God damn. Okay, the classic uh, normal cover. That one is going for $5 and our best offer. Dean Hazel Will the butthole tattoos be done with a wang? Uh, his name is uh, Butch, but you know, no racism here. All Asians can be called whatever they want. You can call him, uh, for 50 bucks, you can call him wang all you want. Uh, GL, hey X, can you explain the difference of all the different Todd, uh, excuse me, of all the different Todd McFarlane covers uh, that uh, that Todd did on Spider-Man on A. There's a lot. Yes, there is. Okay, really quick. Todd McFarlane, for anybody who wants to know, is going uh, for probably most of the iconic covers in the 90s when it came to ASM. Access, mm -hmm. I'll get right to your uh, statement, brother. Um, or question, sorry. When it came to A, there was, what, five covers specifically? At least, yeah. Yeah, that were made of this. This is probably the most iconic one that has been redone multiple times. G.I. Joe, uh, Deadpool, Moon Knight, Batman. There's been so many versions of this Spider-Man. Uh, you have the regular edition. You have the black and gold, the black on black, the black on white misprint. Uh, you have the silver edition. The Walmart one is the one that's the most expensive, right? Yeah, it's the gold version with the UPC code. Yes. Yeah. So if you can find a newsstand version, which has the UPC in that little corner, yeah. uh, the barcode that is done in gold with the gold, that is your big money maker. Huge. Yes, absolutely. Dan Sutton, how's it going? Do we know the color of the lizard in that book? Wasn't the... It's probably blue. I mean, I've never seen like a correct version of the lizard. It's always like a blue one. Uh, so. I would say polka dot. Just because they want to. The purple one is the expensive. Uh, the purple, one, uh, excuse me, purple web is expensive too. Says Dean. Absolutely. Access. What are flash tats? Uh, sorry for dumb question. Not dumb at all, my friend. Flash tattoos are pre-drawn uh, palm to hand size tattoos that are a base price. 
our shot minimum is 150 uh, for the for the boys. Obviously, my uh, minimum is 200. But on the day for Flash, there will be a bunch of video games, Pokemon, neo traditional, traditional lettering. There's a whole bunch of different stuff for everyone's flavor. They start at eighty dollars for simple and go up to three hundred and fifty for complex. You get special deals that day if you want to do the Wheel of Misfortune. That. Uh, let's go and take those down and let's get some new books up, please. I'll drop fifty dollars deposit for a sleeve, arm, leg, or under the knee, just for the artwork. I've been writing down things I like, anyways. Uh, let's see if I can read the rest. Sorry, man. I gotta go to my iPad. Uh, anywho, I'll show you the next time I see you. All right, man. My deposit for myself, uh, I can definitely help you out with something, but we will get there. If you want to drop a deposit for one of the other boys, we can help you out with that. Um, okay, so let's see. On A, is this ours or yours? These are all yours, sir. Hey, okay, cool. We have a Venom a Lethal Protector number one near Mint. On A, I'll let that one go for 50 50 and our best offer. We have the Alex Ross Black Cat Villain Series, the uh, near Mint. That one is going to go for 15 We have the classic Amazing Spider-Man ASM 301. Newsstand, 130 firm on that. And then on the big D, we have uh, for 215 we have a direct edition of the Uncanny X-Men First Appearance of Gambit, also known as Channing Tate Yum. Do you guys think that we will see a Danny DeVito and a Daniel Radcliffe in the new Deadpool movie if they're going to finish that? Ooh, look at that. Clean. What color is the dragon in that one? Purple. Perfect. Uh, two for A, says uh, Ricky Spanish. Nah, bro. Sorry, bro. Um, I feel bad. Buffy has tattoos. I've kind of always wanted one. But being Jewish, it's kind of frowned on. We can draw on you, bud. I mean, we won't charge you for that. Unless it's a full sleeve, then I'm charging you double. Star Trek, Silver Surfer, Raiders logo. Air Aria's name, X Men symbol. Let us know, man. I know that. Uh, I know that. Uh, Butch and uh, Armando have a lot of open spots right now, especially for your budget, brother. We can absolutely make it, but I don't worry. I will throw one on you just out of love, Spock. Did the McFarland sell? Uh, did it? No, the first one. Yeah. Number one? No, no, it didn't, man. What was it going for? Five. Two for five on that, man. I got you. Sacred Society says so. Thank you, Ricky Spanish. Yeah, two bucks. All right. How's the East Coast doing? Dean, I can't wait to go see you guys, man. I, ironically enough, the seminar I'm doing, I was talking about it on the last Sacred Society pod. Uh, dude, it's crazy, man. I'm, I'm almost to like 34 people for that, pod, uh, for that seminar. But uh, I will be over at Brett's for about a week um, I, that I know of. I know that there is one day he's doing like Father's Day or something. I'm going to try to find a day that I could either see you guys or rent a car or something. But I want to go and hang out, uh, find some good food to eat and some good uh, shops to go check out some fucking cool books or just chill with you guys, man. All right. We have A for 50, B for 15, B, uh, C for 130, and we have the big D going for 215. Any offers? If not, we're going to go ahead and skip forward. Pep, what has to be your grail book that you want to go and see or that you would love to find the wild? Realistically? No, make believe. Well, yeah, I mean, really I'm not gonna really. find a fucking amazing fantasy. <laughs> lane. I mean, that's the my grill I want, but um, shit. Same, Dean. I would love to find a 300 in a dollar bin book. I, you know, yeah. the crazy thing is, let's go and swap these out, brother. Please okay. and thank you. Uh, oh man, uh, crazy thing is, I remember being a kid. And going to the uh, comic shop that we had in our town, like fucking tiny little thing, and they had uh, three hundred and three sixty ones in a dollar bin because nobody gave a shit about those in our town. Hell no. Because all the Mexicans were like, "Fuck no, this shit is the devil." <laughs> all right, are these yours? These are yours, man. God damn, put some up for yours. Oh okay, we have um, we have an <laughs> amazing Spider-Man X Men. What shop you tat at, says Dan Sutton. We're at Sacred 8 Studios. You see the little at in the corner. Uh, we are in uh, Seaside, California, all the way out over here. But you can also catch me over at um, Brett's Shop, Tatooine Body Art in Brown Mills, New Jersey soon. You can catch me over in... God, I never fucking remember the goddamn place. I'll throw it up here real soon. But, um, yeah, you can catch me over in Pennsylvania... 
with Mike Lane and another one over with Bill Atkinson coming up soon. That happened to me in 2019, says Iconic Finds. He says he found one for a dollar bin. And the rich get richer. All right, B, we have 35. We have C for 35 and our best offer. And on the big D, look at that right there. $75 and our best offer, direct edition. That beautiful 142. We do have a Mark Jewelers uh, X Men book in the background, too. I don't know why oh, we've never. Yeah. Get it real quick. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that X Men with Mark Jewelers. Oh, it is not X Men. I'm sorry. It's me. This ah. RC found it for us. Oh, it was in the bin? Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't know how to find a Mark Jewelers until he told me. It's, yeah, I'm surprised because you can't even see it on the top. Usually you see the little, the little like um, thick page in the middle. Uh, Dan Sutton says New Mutants '98 was a dollar book forever. No, dude, I not, not even fucking joking you. I remember looking at that cover and there was a guy. This happened to me in fuck maybe like a year after Miles Morales came out, Ultimate Fallout Four. It was. I remember seeing. Uh, the Ultimate Fallout 4, there was a, a guy had a long box of them, dude. Shit you not, Pep. A long box of Ultimate 4's first print, and he was saying a, a dollar for five. Shit. Because he, nobody wanted no them. No one did. And then, I remember seeing them on the shelf and thinking, oh, man, this, this is horrible. No one's going to buy this. And then immediately like, years later, why? Like 600. <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and swap these out for some bootleg books. Let's go ahead. If anyone wants to go ahead and purchase any of these books, you can go in and check out at Sacred Eight Studios, or you can come over here to at Bootleg Comics to check out from Pep himself. All right, let's see. Uh, any cool Cyclops covers? Always looking for my boy. I know I'm a uh, I'm lame, but I uh, and like Boy Scouts. Well, you know, liking Boy Scouts is never a bad thing as long as you look, don't touch. Um, <laughs> but Cyclops for sure, my friend. I will see if we can find any for you, especially with X Men '97. Uh, Rivers, what's up, buddy? I totally forgot to grab some comics I bought from the last 1v1. I know, you were too busy playing Magic. I wonder who got you to do that. Hashtag Cyclops was right. Um, dude, wh how does everyone feel about X-Men 97, dude? How do you like them apples? All right, on A, what do we got, Pep? So on A, we have the Ultimate X-Men number one, the Peach Momoko cover. Um, I think it's just the main cover. Uh, came out a few weeks ago. It's doing pretty good. Um, it's going for five, our best offer. On B, we have one of the mini covers of X-Men number one um, from the 90s. It does have Cyclops and Wolverine. Pretty cool Jim Lee cover. Uh, it's one of those connecting ones. On C, we have Dark Knight's Death Metal 3. It's one of the variants. Um, it's pretty cool. It looks like a fucking... What's that? The, the Cradle of Filth? That's what mm. this cover reminds me of, the dude. That goes for five or best offer. And then on on the big D, we have Dead X-Men number two variant. It's a one in 25 with the Dazzler. It's pretty cool. I have that for 20 or best offer. And that's it. All right. Let us see. Let's go to downloads. Why doesn't this ever work? Okay. Let's uh, save, export... Let's see, desktop seminar. Let's do a JPEG. Seminar. All right, go back to one. Let's get this in really quick and media browse disk. Let's go to desktop, boom, okay. Oh, let's see. Jose Cortina says uh, seven for ABC. Let's go for. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it. No, you know what? No, let's do it. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Sacred Society says sold. You got it. Uh, Ricky Spanish. Thank you, bud. Ten for the big D asks uh, GL. Yes. Okay. Sold. Sacred Society says thank you, uh, GL. <clears throat> I almost loved X-Men 97. I was thrown off by some of the style, but storyline, they did a great continuation. When Morph turns into the uh, into those people, though, I loved it. Yeah, I think for me, the one thing that threw me off was uh, Gambit. 
for me, Gambit is no matter how 90 something may be, homie absolutely fucking looked way too off for me. Ga Gambit's always gonna be a southern twist. That dude was looked like fucking uh, Cindy Lauper. But anyways, uh, for the guy that was asking, which was Dan Sutton, really quick for anybody that is curious. If you are from the original Sacred Society or on the East Coast of the Tattooing Collector Club, you guys can catch me over at uh, Hollow's Eve Tattoo in Palmyra, Pennsylvania, 1031 Tattoo in uh, Montana, Montandon, Montadon, uh, Pennsylvania, June 17th to the 20th, and Tattooing Body Art, Brown Mills, New Jersey, on these days. And you guys can see a bunch of cool new shit or... You guys can see me in person now with 40% more virgin. Hey. Okay, back to the books. Enough self-promoting. What do we got on A, my man? So on A, we have a, a Peach Momoko Gambit cover. Um, we have that for five or best offer. We have on B, a Spider-Man. Uh, I think it's just Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Um, I think it's one of those first team-ups with Miles and, and the regular Peter Parker, number one. I'm out of that at five. On C, we have the Incredible Hulk. And it has, like, the She-Hulk kind of crossed in. But it's 441. It's a Pulp Fiction cover. But it's Hulk Fiction. At 20 or best offer. And then on the big D, we have Elseworlds DC Comics Presents. Um, it's it's a really hard to find book. Um, it has Superman and Batman on the cover, but it has like the different stories. And that one's going for twenty or best offer. So. Okay, all right, Dean. Thank you, man. Appreciate you having a, a good time tonight. Crop top Gambit ten for ten. Rivers, you would. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Gambit wearing a shirt from the uh, that shows abs. They're trying to make uh, make him a thirst trap. He already is a thirst trap. Buffy says 10 for C. Sold. Sold. Sacred Society says, thank you so much, GL. Uh, is A a gambit number one? Yes. Yes, it is. To Spock. Sp uh, Spider-Man is the new run. Where do Spider-Man... Uh, where, where Spider-Man's... Where both Spider-Man's are present. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty fun read. Yeah, no, dude. Fucking, uh, how did the Black Panther Ultimate one actually uh, pan out? Is it uh, still good? How do you feel about it? Okay, what do we have on C? So on C, I have Full Killer number one. It's a Rob Liefeld uh, variant. It has Deadpool in the background. But it's like pretty cool. It's really hard to find. It's one of those variants that are hard to find. And that's going for a 25 or best offer. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if this actually works. So, my drum instructor oh, uh, gave me this drum pad, but he also told me that they make it with a specific type of. Let's see. One, two, three. Hey, it works. Hey, it helps white balance. Shit got way too warm real quick. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all, it's a pretty fun read. Y'all see Team and T Adidas that dropped today? Comes with the reprint of Team and T number one, says Iconic Finds. A for two, says GL. Sold. Okay. Sacred Sight says sold. Quick, buy it before Dadpool grabs it, says Rivers. Any, uh, any new gods, Dark Side, Source Wall, or any X Men Red? Where they are on Mars, and Thanos' granddad puts a hole in Magneto. I've been... Let's read that even more. I've been looking for that one. We do have X-Men Red. They're in one of our boxes. I'll have to find that, but um, I'll make sure to see if I can get um, tomorrow... Uh, Big Woo. Edwin is in, so I'll see if we can find it in one of the boxes for you guys. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, look at that. What if dark? Spider Gwen number one. And it's a pretty sweet cover. Um, and that one's five or best offer. My man. Absolutely, Spock. No worries. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, if they had to make, again, like X-Men 97, if you could choose between Batman the Animated Series continuing, Batman Beyond, 
Spider-Man the Animated Series, or you had to choose between um, Iron Man the Animated Series. Which one would you keep? Which ones would you throw away? All right. Spawn number one, $10 on B. Very clean cover. Half price off. And then on C, I'm going to pull this one down. This is uh, Vision 1 through 12. Most of them are all newsstand. And they're all in fairly great condition. And those are going to be going for 30 for the lot. Uh, Ricky Spanish, A for 4. For Spider Gwen? Yeah. Yep, sold. Okay, Sacred Society says sold. It's X Men Red number 5, says Rivers. For four? Only second. No, no, no. He was uh, answering, uh, or he was responding to Spock. Oh, X Men Red eight. number five is only second to uh, is only second to Mambo number five by Lou Bega. The correct answer is uh, continue Superman the animated series then Spider Man says G L. There you go. Another Tinimation fan, my uh, as well as myself. Okay, we do have Spawn number one on B. We have C. We have the complete run, a uh, new stand of Vision and the Scarlet Witch. And on D, we have DC Comics Elseworlds Presents, number one. With the super interesting 1970s Hardy Boys, definitely gay <laughs> lineup. That's cool. We support it. All right. Oh, Kid Venom. There we go. The one per store. Yep. Anime cover. Number one on the Big D, going for 20 and or best offer. Back with that Spider-Gwen. Look at that right there, negative cover. Is that a Momoko as well? No, I think the A is uh, Christopher Tyler. I think a. that's who does the, the negatives. All right. Going and, for and five or best offer. Did you say Ricky got the last one for four? Four, yes. Spider okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Iron Man had a great song intro. I choose Batman the animated series. Batman Beyond was freaking dope. I'd also love to see that too, but Beyond is basically X Men twenty ninety nine. Okay, that's fair. Spider Man the animated series left us hanging with what happened to MJ. Um, she uh, she gave up and became a baseball player. Uh, also, isn't MJ a superhero now as well? Her name is like Jackpot or something. Uh, yeah. She is and not. Let's not talk about that current run. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Okay, we have A. We have B. How do you buy? Christian uh, Reynoso says, If you want to purchase anything, my friend, you go ahead and look up here. This is a claim sale. A is going for 5. B is going for 10. C is going for 30. And you have on the big D over here. 20 and or best offer for Kid Venom number one. You can go ahead and buy or purchase from Bootleg Comics, or you will see a notification over here for at Sacred Eight Studios. And you go ahead and purchase if you need them. Uh, if you're local to us in Seaside, California, Monterey County, California, then you will come and pick them up in person. Or if you are online, you can go ahead and Venmo at Sacred Eight Studios for the books you buy from us. And or Daniel Rajiquez-17 for bootleg comics and you will absolutely get yours with uh final total tax and shipping and we can ship those out to you worldwide there you go and for bootleg if, if you have any questions please follow me or just message me on instagram and we can work something out paypal um zelle whatever and then if you need shipping let me know beforehand and then we could work that out too there you go is Kid Venom a manga style on the inside? I think is what he's asking. Iconic asks. Um, I haven't looked because it came polybagged, and for those, I don't really want to rip them open. But I doubt it. I doubt. I, I think, think it's, it's just, just the cover. cover. Iconic. I, usually, it's just the cover. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and swap those out. Okay. Then we're gonna do shop books. Right okay. Now. These ones will be from Sacred Eight Studios. Okay. Ooh, Uncanny X Men, Sandman. There we go. First, Nada, the love interest of uh, Morpheus. Uh, this is first edition, first print. Sandman going for twenty dollars and or best offer on that beautiful collection. The Uncanny X-Men. This one is 268, I believe. Yes. 
that is when you find out that Logan and uh, fucking Chris Evans himself and Scarlett Johansson team up and they realize they were all in World War II with each other. $20 on her best offer. Phoenix Saga story number one, the untold story, her, uh, I believe, the first solo series, right? Um, no, second uh, series, I believe. 15 and her best offer near Mint when you stand. And then on the big D, right then and there, the first cameo of Venom. We have a new stand edition of the ASM, 120 and or best offer. 10 for A, uh, says uh, GL. Uh, I will take 15, my man, just because it's it's a really hard book to find in such a good condition if you are interested. I want A and D, says Christian. Sorry, uh, hold on really quick. Christian, uh, your chat came in pretty late, dude, but it's before GL's. Um which one are you referring to, G uh, Christian? Is it A and D for this one, or was it the previous one? Please let me know. <sighs> let me know, Christian. Uh, A and D, was that for uh, bootlegged or for Sacred Ape? These? Yeah. Or no. Also, if you're new, do know that if you're going to buy anything from Sacred Age Studios and or from Bootlegged uh, Comics, we do have a 24-hour time to respond uh, about payment and or pickup and shipping. If not, we will break your legs and then we will throw everything, including your shoes, back into the comic boxes to be sold. Please let us know what you want. Sacred Eight. Okay, you'll. Uh, so, <clears throat> really quick. Uh, GL, his did come in before you. I can see it right now. He responded at seven fourteen. You had seven fifteen, my man, on the thing. So we have a Sandman for twenty, and we have the Big D, which is one hundred and twenty, going to Christian Rayonoso. So, uh, George, I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna have to give those to him. Sacred Society says sold. Christian Reynoso, this is the first time I think I've ever dealt with you, my man. If you can, please go in and DM right there at Sacred Eight Studios on Instagram, or you can message us via Facebook, and we will go from there and help you out, bud. Okay? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. George, if we have any more Sandman, we will push it your way, my man. I'll actually throw up one right now. Perfect. There we go. We got another one for you. Hey, there we go. This we one is got, number what? The next one. That one is a number seven. Okay, number seven, first print, going for fifteen dollars and our best offer. If you find a seven number really uh, number three, I really want that. We should have a number three in there. Yeah, we have the whole oh, run. Shit, right oh, there you go. Here, throw that up. Should I even throw it over? Just... Yeah. Oh shit! God damn it, Christian. Of course I fucking know you. You're my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Hefe. Uh oh, Thank you, brother. Uh, <laughs> Uh, get my uh, get my number from um, Nathaniel, bro. I'll get that shipped out to you really quick, man. And also, congratulations on the nuptials. D minus show. What's up? Dad pulls in. Everybody start closing their butt cheeks. Oh, there we go, right there. Uh, GL. I'll give you first dibs, man. There is a first print, uh, prime condition. Sandman number three, going for thirty five and or best offer, brother. I'll take a. Okay, how about this? Because you were understanding and good sportsmanship, I'll give that to you for twenty, man. Okay, Sacred Society says so. Thank you, man. 22 GL. Got Christian, it, thank you, brother. All right, so we have uh, B still going for 20, C going for uh, 15 and her best offer. And we have Big D up here. This is the second cameo of Venom, uh, Near Mint, going, uh, newsstand edition, going for 160 and OBO. And then the classic, classic ASM Gray Hulk. Uh, this is the Todd McFarlane cover. This bad boy was going up to about 80 uh, last year in some areas, even higher if you had the new stand. 35 and or best offer. Quick pull up that live fell cover for dad pull. Oh, yeah, the, your your mock-up one right there. Oh, the full. Right there. It's right in front of you. This one? Yeah. Chris, check this out. Look at that right there. Amazing Spider-Man. Deadpool. Interrupting the uh, giant size annual for MJ. 
And you know this is a kind of a homage. You remember the yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the annual. annual. Yeah, the annual. Yeah. yeah, right there, man. That could be you and your fake girlfriend. <laughs> All right, I love Constantine so much that, and that's his issue. I'm going to get it framed with the others, man. Of course, no, thank you, brother. B for ten uh, to Ricky Spanish. Sacred Society says sold. Thank you so much, man. Ricky Spanish. Oh, right then and there, check that bad boy out. This one is going for two hundred. Uh, this is Omega Man number three. This is the first appearance of Lobo near Mint. 200 and or best offer. First appearance of Lobo. Omega Man number three near Mint. All right. Got to drive home. Be back in 15. All right. Be safe, Spock. I know that they found somebody dead over by uh, what? CSUMB. And there was a huge crash on the one today. So please be safe. I'll take that dad, uh, Deadpool for 35 says... Uh, Dadpool. Okay, Sacred oh, Society says you. sold. That is from Pep, brother. Okay, here is my next question to y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give away a Star Wars toy that we have in the Sanctorum to anybody that wants to uh, win it. Um, the first question is, who was the creator originally for Spider Man? Who was originally the creator for Spider-Man? Not necessarily the story, but the way we know him now. Uh, I'll give that for one point. Okay, we have the last chance for A, 35. B, first appearance of Lobo near Mint, 200 and our best. Uh, 15 on C, and then we have the big D for 160. Uh, second appearance, uh, sorry, second cameo of Venom going for 160 and our best offer. And let's go ahead and move those down and get some books up from Bootleg. Hey, right there, GL Ditko. Okay, first point goes to GL, my man. Okay, second question to make it interesting to win a free Star Wars toy from the Sanctorum. In 1943, this comic produced higher than any other comic in America. This comic produced higher than any other comic in America uh, and was published almost three to one versus any other book in that year. What was that comic? What was the character that, that sold better than any in 1943? On A, we have the ASM special issue Tri tribute to dating god damn playboy yeah. playboy it's a cougar issue man cougar issue hey my dude all right we got that going for five dollars and our best offer the phantom says uh, says spock aren't you supposed to be driving uh <laughs> <laughs> no uh five dollars on b five dollars on c and on the big d Ooh, ten dollars. What are on A, B, and C, my dude? So on A is the Amazing Spider-Man five eighty three. It's the Cougar issue. Um, it's for dating. It's also the one that has the Obama variant where he's doing the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. But this is the the regular issue. And then on B we have Spider-Man number thirteen. It's with Miles and Gwen. It's one of the early ones where they team up. And then on 19, we have a Scotty Young cover. Um, it has Venom's tongue, kind of like choking Miles. So that's a pretty cool cover for five. <laughs> and then on on the big D, we have when Miles gets arrested. It's one of those covers that kind of got hot a few years ago during all the controversy. I um, mean, that's going for 10 or best offer. All right. Got there, five, 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 and then 10. Uh the Phantom says Spock, Conan the Barbarian. The D minus show and Al and River says Magic Order. God damn it! You know what? You're right. Uh, Archie says Jamie. Hey, Jamie Zimanoff, you are one of the oldest uh, society members in there. Say everyone, say hello to Jamie. All new society members. We don't get to hear from you much, man, but we always appreciate seeing you when you like stuff and share things and whatnot, dude. Uh, much love, bud. 
Okay, Spock, I, do not, I totally do not endorse texting and driving. Cool, because neither does the Magic Order, the greatest book of all time. Action Comics, no. In 1943, this book was produced almost three to one higher than any other comic at the time. What was that comic to get that point? Right now, GL is in the lead for this uh, Star Wars toy that we are going to give away. <coughs> all right, do we have any offers for the MILF cover on A? B, uh, Miles Morales getting his ass handed to him by a white lady. Uh, C, Miles Morales getting eaten by a white guy. Or D, him just getting arrested because the man doesn't want to see a black Puerto Rican kid do something with his life. Pity this boy. Buy these books. All right. A, B, C, D. What do we got? Shazam. No. Good guess, though. Um, Jose Cortina. Rick Spanish. All right, let's go ahead and move A, B, and C, and D. Last time, what was the book? What was the comic that was sold three to one in 1943? Is Chris still on? Or Chris yeah. is still on, yes. All right, I'm going to throw up one more book that I did previously. Okay. D for five, says Ricky Spanish. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Sacred Society says sold. Thank you, Ricky Spanish. Okay. Alright, so. Alright. America's Greatest Comic asks, uh, says GL, no. I'll give you a hint it is not a DC character. Wasn't that the name of Shazam's books? Of uh, the of Shazam's Shazam's book, he was in America's Greatest Comic as well as a few other different ones back in the day that you would see before he got bought out, and then he was uh, they sued. Uh, just because, like you know, like More Fun Comics was one of my favorite runs that my dad had back in the day. Uh, but then they, when these comic companies get per, uh, bought out, they would go ahead and be taken off by other um, companies and. Uh, Stripped and put into their own thing. So, Captain America says, Jamie, no. Good guess, though. Some army book or western book. That's a great guess. Iconic. No. All right. On A, B, C, and the big D, what do we got? So, on A, I got one of my favorite covers. Um, it's Amazing Spider-Man 568. Um, new Ways to Die. Has him ripping off his, his shoe like that. It's pretty cool. Um, that's five or best offer. On B, we have the, the Stan Lee cover of Marvel Age 41. Um, at one point, that was going for like some crazy money when he died, but it's pretty back to earth. And that one's going five or best offer. On C, I'm doing B Star Wars Blood Ties 1 and 2. Um, I think they're like Mandalorian tie-ins, but it's pretty cool, Boba Fett and, and all that. So we're doing 1 and 2 for 20. And then for Chris on Big D, I'm putting back the full killer because it's a pretty, pretty cool. I mean, Liefeld cover with Deadpool and his villain full killer um, variant for 25 or best offer. All right, right then and there, Deadpool full killer on D. We have A for five, B for five, C for 20 for the two, and then we have uh, 25 on foot killer reissued back with the Deadpool cover. On big da 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 d uh, classic comics. I'm guessing I thought it was Shazam. No sir, Sergeant Fury. No, it was not a DC book, and it was not a Marvel character either. There's your second hint. All right. If Godzilla had to fight one person, right? Like anybody, who would you choose, Pep? I feel like I'd want to fight, have like Godzilla fight Bill Clinton. I don't know why, but I just feel like that book would... Like, it'd be so fucking stupid. People would be like, you know what? I gotta read it. I don't know who would win that one, though, but... <laughs> fuck, can you imagine that comes out with the fucking, like... 
<laughs> saxophone just fucks him up with it. Yeah. Hey, the fucking Bill Clinton and the California Raisins team up. Nathaniel, what's going on, brother? Wonder Woman? No. Good guess, though. Wonder Woman. All right. We have A for five. Pep's favorite uh, cover because it's the closest thing you'll ever see to Peter Parker stripping down. <laughs> B, the Marvel Age, number 41, the classic Stan Lee cover going for $5 and our best offer. We have Star Wars, uh, number one and two, the Blood Ties on 20. I'm uh, sorry, on C for 20. And then we do have Foot Killer. This one is the Big D book going for 25 and or best offer. Swamp Thing, no. Uh, Muhammad Ali beat Superman, right? Uh, technically, yes. But I know a dive when I see one. Just like Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Oh, man. Ooh, man. That, I, can't wait. I, I don't even like sports that I'm going to watch that I shit. I know, me too. Like, I've never bought a pay-per-view, but... Fuck, I'll drop 80 on that. Yeah. That's well, well, we can fun. watch it here at the shop and Hell, just... Dude, and, and, you know how fun that would be? Oh, yeah. Well, $5 we, cover. $5 cover uh, oh, charge to come and watch it and then oh, just watch man. a reverse racism happen. Okay, let's see. So we're going to switch up to the shop books. Okay, these are the Sacred Society books. Sorry about that. Nathaniel, what up? Is Mighty it? Mouse versus Godzilla. That would be pr pretty fucking cool. He's scared of mice. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. I miss the old Mighty Mouse stuff. Okay. Um, okay, on A, we have the classic Jim Lee cover. This one right here, what is that, 541? 612. Close. Close enough. All right. <laughs> I can't <laughs> see the numbers because of the light. Uh, Batman, we have the famous Jim Lee cover. We have that going for $10 and our best offer. What if the Hulk had killed Wolverine, the embossed uh, cover? This is from uh, the second series of What If. That one is going for $5. Is Tales of Suspense, Captain America, and Iron Man. This one is uh, Cap versus the Black Panther, the first time that they fight. This one is going for 65 and our best offer. And on D, we have the... Death in the Family, first print, uh, near mint. This one is going for $60 and our best offer right there. E. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'd pay five bucks a plus tip just to watch it. Yo, Glass, Glass Joe and uh, Mike Tyson, Nintendo called it. E. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, my brother. Uh, for, <clears throat> excuse me, for 1943... I mean, when I'm not trying to like speak up fast, my voice gets raspy, I notice. And then when I actually talk how I really talk, my voice is way bassier. So I'm like, all right, in, for 1943, uh, I'm saying Mighty Mouse. No. Alex, I forgot about Mighty Mouse. The old school way back then definitely had different taste than us. Uh, absolutely, man. Fucking Slowpoke Rodriguez. He's always packing. Okay, we have uh, A. Batman for ten and or best offer. We have B for five dollars. What if uh, Wolverine and uh, the Hulk had killed Wolverine? C Tales of Suspense, Captain America and Iron Man, Cap versus Black Panther. First um, sixty-five and or best offer. And then on D, we have Batman: Death in the Family, where they beat the living shit out of a kid. All right, sixty and or best offer. Let's go. Okay. Nobody has guessed it. What was the book in 1943 that sold three to one higher than any other comic? It was Donald Duck. Dude, Walt was, Disney's Donald Duck. I was just about to say that. Just yep. to fuck around. Uh, well, from the, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, we do a podcast every Wednesday called the Sacred Society uh, Podcast. And Pep Bootleg has been on uh, all of the Pod Wars. And that is the question that always stumps everybody. The number one most selling comic of all time is Walt Disney's Donald Duck, which is fucking crazy to think, right? Dude, well, he has some. Uh, the covers are really cool. There's the, there's a firefighter one of his, and yes, dude, it's so expensive. I have a, I have one of the. I have the the uh, what is it? The Looney Tunes. Yeah, the Looney Tunes. The Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah, I have the tattoo cool. cover. Somebody had gifted me, which was super cool. God damn it! I should have gotten that. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez is friends with everyone's sister. A actual quote from Looney Tunes. <laughs> my boy. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and take these down. Please. A milli, a milli, a milli, milli, milli. <laughs> that was in the pod war. Yes, it was, Rivers, and you didn't get it. All right. We got things coming up. Shot books. Ooh, look at that. G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, and Transformers. This one is number uh, 140, I think. That one is going for, uh, I believe this one is going for 15 and or best offer. We do have uh, 375 ASM, Near Mint, the classic gold cover. That one's going for 15 OBO. Do you dare to enter the world of tomorrow? House of Mystery, for all you Sandman fans, if you know what that is. Or if you're a horror fan. On C, going for $15 and or best offer for those classic, classic books. This one is actually um, Walter Jean Jean's cover, if I remember correctly. Sounds right. And then we have uh, first solo series, Deadpool number one, going for $20 and or best offer. Number one Deadpool there. This is Delilah. Thank you for listening this week Circle on the Chase. Sacred Society podcast. Also, the 1v1 with Bootleg Comics. Yo, do you like comics? I don't like comics. <laughs> it's a good thing. All right. Already did, but don't tell me you're not the real Vulcan dad, my dude. It doesn't count. It costs us anything, but it helps. I don't uh, I don't want to be rude, actually, but I do. But we got 11 people watching on YouTube. Let's please tap that like button. Hey, man, I appreciate that, Spock. As always, man, I really, really appreciate that you uh, and everybody in the family always really fucking goes out of the way, dude. Thank you. It does help. I hate fucking asking for that shit, but apparently... The, uh, we need it. Yeah, we need it. Hell, oh, <laughs> oh, we're going God. broke. 15 for the big D. Absolutely, GL. It is all you, uh, baby boy. Secret Society says so. Thank you so much, man, to you and Buff. Okay. Probably be good for that. My mom said I have a face for radio. It's okay, man. I have a voice for fucking uh, swimming. 10 for A says, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, says Ricky Spanish. Absolutely. Sacred Society says so. Bam. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow night, Saturday, in the Sanctorum is Card Night and Gundam Club. Uh, we did have a really big one last week and the week before. If you guys want to come out, we do not charge for tables. Just let us know ahead of time if you want to come and play. We have Lorcana held down by our boy Access. Mire, the king. We also have the, um, excuse me, the magic boys that are coming in. Everybody from Isaiah and Sam down all the way to uh, Prometheus, Yuji, and Bri Bri. Uh, Captain Marvel, there we go, number 19. This is uh, from the first series. That one's going for 35 and or best offer on A. And then on the big D, we have Tales of Suspense. This one is number 85. Iron Man and Captain America, Into the Jaws of Death. That one is going for 35 and or best offer. Cool. The Matt Brown, what's going on, dude? 777, uh, 10 on C. Absolutely, Matt Brown. You got it, brother. Tell the missus we say hello. Sacred Society says sold. I really want to see, but I grabbed another Sandman. I've already got another Sandman. We got some more horror books if you guys want horror. I know that we got them there. I love horrors. Yes. Whores. Whores. Uh, he is a, the model. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at that. Do you dare enter the house of mystery right then and there? Here's a really cool fucking fact for anybody that doesn't know. Let's see if I can. Uh, I don't know how I can zoom in on these things. Hey, um, I, if you ever find, can I add a shape? Let's see if I can. Let's do overlays and can we do a, let's see. Media files, stock media library. Let's see what we can add. I just need a red circle. Oh, I guess I'm an asshole, huh? Nothing. Circle. Nothing. All right, well, I guess I can't do that. So much for premium, huh? Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, 
Buffy, excuse me, wrong Captain Marvel. Hey, uh, I'm bringing one box tomorrow. If the wife gives me the okay X, anything you want for my collection is yours. How about your sweet cheeks, ba playboy? I appreciate you, man. But uh, no, nah, dude, I always appreciate the love. Thank you, uh, Matt. Uh, thank you to and the missus. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Anything cool for sale? Sorry, I'm on sporadically. Absolutely, Jamie. No worries. Uh, any statues? Is that what you're asking? Oh, okay, statues. Uh, if you're looking for any statues, man, if you're looking for uh, Sideshow Collectibles or Infinity Studios, we do have two busts. We do have the Iron Man Mark III full one-to-one -one scale bust that we still have available in the shop. We do have the Masterline series. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. What's it called? The Batman versus Superman, the Frank Miller one. That is the one-third oh, scale. Man. It is 180 pounds. Beautiful. It's a thirty-seven hundred dollars statue. We have it for twelve fifty right now. We need to buy some new displays for the shop. So if you're interested, you can buy it at cost. We have that, and then we have a one-to-one -one vision uh, bust from the Infinity War saga, or the yeah, the Infinity War, right? Yeah. Uh, saga. So we have those available. If you're interested, man, DM us. Bakugo, yeah, we do have a bunch of small little uh, anime statues. Okay, let's go and swap these out for some bootlegged, please. Thank you, boys. Some scorpion chili. <laughs> he wears an actual glycerin. No way. The cost would be a fortune to ship. We actually had a guy who was going to come in. Um, if you want, man, on our YouTube channel, you're watching from Facebook. I can see where you guys are watching from, from our little chat source here. If you go to our YouTube channel, man, where most of our stuff is going these days, um, you can check under the mini monuments. We have a video showing it. Uh, the shipping right now is $420. Uh, it is a pretty pricey ship, but you get everything. Three large boxes. Everything's there. The only thing that's um, uh, fucked up on it is the light. The light came damaged in the shipping. But um, everything else works perfectly fine. And it's the exclusive edition with four extra heads for Batman. So if you're interested, man, we will give it to you for, I believe it's 1650 to 1700 fully shipped, which is $2,000 off the retail price. So let us know, my man. Okay, here we go. We got this from Bootleg. What do we got on A, B, C, and Big D? Okay, so this is kind of a Spider-Boy um, lot right here. On A, I, th I believe it's that Christopher variant where it's Spider-Boy number one for five or best offer. On B, we have another Spider-Boy number one. It's the homage for Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, that's going for five or best offer. Uh, on C, we have Spider-Boy number one. I think this is just uh, the regular base cover. Five or best offer. Yeah, I give up. On D, we have the foil cover. That's pretty neat. And that one's going for 10 or best offer. All right. Here we go. Uh, Brian, uh, GL says, uh, what did you say? Ba, 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 ba. But if you don't support Sacred 8, I can't. I would say, as an army dude, I can teach you to make explosive stuff. But if you don't support Sacred 8, I can't help you. Uh, GL says, FBI will be at your door soon. I read a shirt that says the female body inspectors are always on the job. So good luck to you, Brian. Uh, C for two asks um, Ricky Spanish. Sold. All right, sold. Sacred Society says sold. Thank you, Ricky. I welcome them. They can't do shit to me. They could tickle you. Tickle too. Nobody likes to be tickled like overly, you know, that shit. I'll piss my pants. Mm -hmm. And if anybody knows me in real life, I got like two shorts. I have workout Adidas pants that somebody gave to me and that look like a Russian guy, but, you know, <laughs> I don't fit in them. All right. Oh, look at that. It's Scotty Young on that C right there, man. Spider Boy number one, Scotty Young. Going for five dollars and our best offer. Boo, 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 boo. Doing like this, my man. Look at that. What's up, Danger? Um, next question. Out of all of the Hanna Barbera cartoons, what has to be the least viewed Hanna Barbera cartoon of all time? Uh, X. Just to be sure, to, uh, just be sure to wear your brown pants. I'm Mexican. Of course, I have them. They're, they're attached to my skin. I refuse to acknowledge Spider Boy. Is it because he's not black? That's racist. I know. Rivers, come on, bro. Why you gotta be like that? 
All right. That was Rivers? Big D. Yeah, I know. He's oh. changed. <laughs> <laughs> On the Big D, we got the hollow foil, beautiful spider boy right there. Uh, going for $10 at our best offer. We do still have the... Uh, Virgin variant on A. Virgin. And then we have uh, the Homage ASM number one uh, Spider Boy variant on B. And then we have the Scott Young on C. Two shorts, gang. A. Uh, okay, we have A, B, C going for five. And we got D for ten. What else are we trying to see today besides the brown shorts? Fantastic Max. A. Okay, Fantastic Max. No, Rocky uh, Rocky and Bumkle. I think it'd be Bullwinkle. No. Okay, Spider Boy Sacks. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, ugh. <laughs> Pink Panther, Birdman, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo of that for sure. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Nope, nope, and nope. Here we go. What do we got on A, B, C, and D, my man? Sorry. So on A, we got Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, number one. It's the I think it's a Daniels variant, and that's going for ten or best offer. On B, we have Amazing Spider-Man number three. Uh, it's with the black cat cover, going for five or best offer. On C, we have Batman and Superman number one variant. And that's going for five or best offer with Supergirl and Batgirl on the cover. And on Big D, we have the Tomb Raider. <clears throat> it's a variant going for 20 or best offer. All right. Oh, look at that Tomb Raider one right there, Chris. That's all for you. Put it on your fridge. Tell your mom it's your girlfriend. All right. Look at that right there. See, Care Bears. No. Uh, I know where my loyalties stay. <laughs> Does Scrappy Doo have his own show? It would be that. You would think so, but no. Puppy Power per, uh, persevered. A for 10, B for 5, C for 5, and D going for 20 and or best offer. All right. Huckleberry Hound, good guess, but no. What question? What is the least viewed Hanna-Barbera cartoon of all time? What were some old cartoons that you absolutely fucking loved when you were a kid, dude? I love fucking Baby Huey, dude. Huey the Duck. Huey the Big Fucking Duck. Hell yeah, dude. I love that shit. Um, I liked Casper. Casper. Oh, yeah. Fucking uh, Spooky the Bear. No, you know what I was thinking about? I used to watch uh, Yogi Bear all the fucking time, dude. Yogi Bear, yeah. Hey, Yogi. Hey, Yogi. Hey, Yogi. Hey, Yogi. Hey, Yogi. Hey, Yogi. Man, I fucking love that <laughs> shit, dude. Because my mom would, when I was with my mom, she'd play me the Looney Tunes and all the old school cartoons. She didn't like... She didn't like the new stuff, so I would watch, like, early stuff, like Looney Tunes. That was awesome. Um, just stuff like that. <laughs> Jamie Jamie goes, that D cover looks like double Ds to me. Stupid. Hey, hey, take it, <laughs> Rambo. All right, says uh, Nathaniel. Heckle and Jekyll says Dean Minus. What's, the, uh, what's that caveman's name? Oh, you're thinking of... Um, Oh my God! He, he was a superhero, right? Uh, he was basically cousin it from the Adams family. Uh, Huckleberry Hand, no, that one Spider-Man that shows her cheeks. No. no. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and move A, B, C, and D. Space stars, Captain Caveman. There you go, D minus show. Uh, no, it was not that. But uh, okay, the question one last time. This is for another uh, point on the board. Question. <clears throat> God damn. Sorry. Hold on. This is where I need my hot tea, man, because my voice is blown out. Uh, excuse me. Now, back to your regular uh, broadcast. 
Um, the question is, what is the least viewed Hanna-Barbera cartoon of all time? Captain Caveman. David the Gnome? No. That's, that show ends on a really fucked up note where they become trees. They don't show you the next one where they cut it down to make a fucking Lincoln Log collection. Okay, A, B, C, and the Big D. What do we got? All right, so on A, we have a J. Scott Campbell cover, Amazing Fantasy, uh, 1000 sorry, Spider-Man for $5 or best offer. On B, we got Amazing Spider-Man 617. It's a rhino busting through the cover, going for 5 or best offer. On C, we have Zero, Zero War, I think. Yeah, Zero War is a 4 9 issue, um, Marvel X, going for 5 or best offer. Still sealed in the poly bag. And on the big D, we have Adam Hughes. It's a Tomb Raider cover. Uh, you can see that. And that's going for a 20 or best offer. I wear the same thing when I go to bed. Sanzu says I have to. Leather yeah. only. For Yeah. For uh, the Fortnite one on C, for anyone that does not know, there is a code on the inside of the book that you can use. So for you that have children that play Fortnite, or for those of you that still feel like kids and play Fortnite, I still you, play. you guys can get a uh, one of five collectible skins from that book. Okay, we'll take Manhattan. Jeez, what is up with those Tomb Raider covers? I know, they're too fucking conservative, bro. Not enough skin, in my opinion. Uh, especially around her fucking forehead. I want to see more forehead. Where are my forehead boys at? Hey, he did damage over love. Hey, okay. Last time question: What is the least viewed Hanna Barbera cartoon of all time? I'm surprised you're not jumping at this one, D minus show, because you're the guy that knows a lot about that stuff. Oh man, god damn it! I got that fucking song stuck in my head that do 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 Doug? No, the Doug's a chicka chicka What the fuck were you saying? No, it's the fucking Tom's Diner. Oh. The I Dream of Genie thing? Oh. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and take down A, B, and C. Forehead gang. We got some shot bugs coming up. Sure. Space Ghost says iconic finds. No. Ooh. It's just getting hot, actually, right now. Oh, dude, I fucking love Space Ghost. The Alex Ross Space Ghost? Yes. Fucking sick covers, dude. Oh, Alex Ross actually has his new uh, Ross cover boxes where you can just get his Ross Club or some shit like that. Okay, look at this one right here. Sandman. Oh. This one is the final issue. Final issue right there. $15, first print, near mint, right there. Then we have uh, $10 on B for Sandman, Gallery of Dreams, uh, number one. Then we have uh, C, which is $30, and our best offer, direct edition, uh, classic, uh, excuse me, classic John Byrne. And then on the D, another one, newsstand edition, 45 and our best offer for that one. Okay, Hong, uh, Hong Kong Fui, no, Smurfs, no. Honestly, their stuff was before my time. Mostly watched it on Cartoon Network back in the day. That's fair, yeah. Uh, five Head Gangs is <laughs> Rivers. I'm not going to buy anything until I pay uh, pay by my dues. Space Ghost interview show was hilarious. Yes, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Jamie, if you or anybody has never, ever seen or heard of it, it is called Danger Mouse. Danger, here I'll write it in the chat under Brushes of Doom. Danger, Moose. Uh, Danger Mouse. If you get a chance, they have a uh, like a off uh, Auburn cover. Kind of looks like uh, the cover for B, that color scheme. Um, it is an album that MF Doom and uh, 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 Danger Doom and uh, MF Doom did of... Um, <clears throat> of a hip hop album and they hired the entire cat uh, entire crew of adult swim so you have aqua Teen hunger force space uh space goes coast to coast the brack show all that and they rap against them the entire album it's fucking amazing dude uh yes sir got fire tonight 
Uh, hopefully the fire doesn't take over the place. Danger Doom. There you go, my man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Iconic. One of the best albums that I have listened to for a long time. Uh, amazing. Yeah, Jamie, check it out, dude. You will absolutely fucking laugh your ass off, but it's also just great. My favorite is Space Hose, which is uh, a line, if anyone has seen the new video I did on Brushes of Doom for my new seminar coming out, I have a new uh, bunch of stuff I'm putting out over there, and I will be honest. Uh, I am taking the one line that he uh, hired Space Ghost to say, and it's, uh, you want to take over my show. Um, you I really think you can get away with this doom? That's what America's craving, more doom. All right, let's go ahead and take these down. Good. Right then and there, sick. Anything you buy tonight, in a year you'll make 20% profit. So say Spock. Hoy. I have it. Sofa King is my favorite. Yes, I am so fucking. Don't say it so fast. It loses meaning. I am so fucking we ta dead. Okay. Oh, Chris, there you go, man. Looks like your cousins. <laughs> All right. We have. Yes, cousins that look like them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're dudes. Um, we have so. X Men number one, the Jim Lee cover on A, <laughs> going for $5. Marvel and DC present. This was a one-shot newsstand. Beautiful Perez cover. That one is the Uncanny X-Men versus the New Teen Titans. That one goes for 15 and or best offer. Street Fighter. This is the Udon series of 2022. The Swimsuit Special Edition. That is going for $10 and or best offer. And then on D, we have the classic Uncanny X-Men. Excuse me. That is number 213, going for $35 and her best offer. Newsstand edition. Okay, so fucking tired. Yes. Okay, so the question was, what is the least viewed... Um, what was the least viewed ha uh, Hanna-Barbera uh, cartoon of all time? And the answer is... Dude, Yogi's Gang. Uh, Yogi's Gang followed secondly by the Flintstone Kids. Those ones were trying to go ahead and reach in at the same time as Scrappy Doo was in, and nobody fucking watched it. It actually had such a hard fall off rate that it didn't survive past a first season, like they canceled it mid season. Okay, D for 20 says. Uh, Ricky Spanish, absolutely, man. Sacred Society says, so, thank you. I just want to rest. I know. Uh, believe me, dude, I feel you. My friend is asking for that Street Fighter Sports Illustrated. Well, you're a good friend. Go ahead and get, uh, give it to him. Rivers, are you uh, buying it for your friend? Just like, uh, is is your friend friends with Axis's uh, Psylocke obsess, uh, obsessed friend? Because you guys are amazing. Uh, it goes both ways, Brian. You make us happy, Spock. We love you, bud. All right. I look at those sunglasses. Okay, Sacred Society says, Soul Rivers for C. He didn't say yes, but I'm forcing him to buy it. All right. For his friend. I know it. <laughs> you and Axis are great friends, man. Friendship should be like you guys. You seem to buy all these risque covers with women in very tight clothes, and you're just like, my boy needs this. And I'm that guy to help him. Like, fuck, man. Homie of the year. Okay, let's go ahead and take these ones down once you're done, and then we'll switch over to a few more books. Let's go ahead and do a fire sale after the next round. See what you guys want to get. Okay, next question right now. The only person on the board is GL. So GL and Buffy are looking like they're going to get that Star Wars toy for free. Uh, the next question is, what show from Nickelodeon in, in the 1990s was canceled due to traumatizing animation. What show in the 1990s was canceled due to traumatizing animation? Go. On A, we have uh, X-Men Newsstand. This is when Storm gets her powers back. This one is going for 15. We have uh, uh, New Teen Titans Annual number 2. This one is the first appearance of Vigilante. My dudes, look at that. Um, and Batman Detective Comics. This is going for 45. This is the first appearance and the death of the third Clayface for you Batman uh, uh, DC Detective fans. 
And then on D, we have Sandman, the second appearance of Morpheus and the first appearance of Goldie. Number two. My man, look at that right there. I forget the name of this art style. I know I'm putting it in my uh, in one of my composition portions, but Jesus Christ, man, this guy who used to do all this stuff, it was like a whole setup. What's that, like No Gilman, right? Yeah, uh, did a lot of the I Spy books, too. Yeah. If anybody remembers I Spy. Okay, let's see. C. Ray is uh, Ren and Stimpy. No. Uh, GL says Ren and Stimpy, in case you're uh, Russian. All that. No. Pokemon. No. Ren and Stimpy. No. George called it. First bit of Ren and Stimpy. No. Angela Anaconda says Rivers. No. What 1990s cartoons from Nickelodeon were uh, uh, canceled because of their risque and uh, disturbing art? Okay, we have A, B, and we have C. What are you looking for? Is X, you are killing monsters? Me. Huh? All monsters? or What was it? Monsters? That all... all real monsters? Yeah. Actually, it was. Was it? Yeah. Well, I guess you get it. Fuck. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you know what? You can give your point to one person. Uh... What's the score right now? Right now, it's just GL. He's winning? I don't know. Let's see. I know, I know. Sorry, bud. Uh, <laughs> Let's give it to Spock, my boy Brian. Okay, all right. All right. You're going to give it to him on the spot. Spock. There goes Spock. You Spock. got one on the board. Let's make this interesting tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. There you go. The Pete, <laughs> the adventures of Pete and Pete, man. There you go. All Love right. You, George. Talk about all right, man. So that's uh, two and two. We are killing up these salmon. I know. We got a full run in, man. We're trying our best to get them in to, to people, so... Fucking, we do have a almost a complete run of salmon. But look at that right there. First, uh, second Number appearance two. of Morpheus and first yeah. Goldie, fifty and or best offer. That's clean. Ikis, uh, Oblina and Crumb. I know I had tattooed that a while back and I fucking loved it. I want to do a rehash of it. If anyone wants an our real monster tattoo, I'll fucking hook it up. Okay, let's go and remove these and let's do some fire sales. Let's go bootlegged, please. All right. Every issue I'm going to throw up. The grumble. It won't be priced. It's all five. Yes. Five or best offer. Five or best offer on this right now. Okay, while he sets up his fire sale, I will ask the next question. In uh, what was one of the very first animations done by an anchorman that never took off until it's a re-release on DVD in 2022? What was a animation done by an anchorman that never really took off until it's re-released on DVD in 2022? What do uh, what do I owe for the fourth Street Fighter? <laughs> for your, uh, what do you mean? What does your friend owe? Uh, your friend owes uh, ten. ten bucks. You are worthy, my friend. You are worthy, man. Rise. Ooh, is that a reprint? Those are all, yeah, those first two are facsimiles. Okay, cool. I was like, God damn. Five bucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Almost sold. Sold. Oh, <laughs> okay, man. Fire sale, everybody. $5 and our best offer. These are going to be speed rounds. If you want to purchase something, please say A and whatever that book is. So uh, an example, A, Ultimate Fallout or UF Spider-Man. Um, B, Gwen Stacy Spider Verse. Um, obviously, you don't just rush to uh, type it in and we'll get it to you. Okay. All right. First one's up. Let's go ahead. How do I, uh, who do I owe for the Four Street Fighter? Your friend owes uh, Sacred Eight Studios, right? Or do you? No, that's you, man. Okay. Yeah. It owes us. Okay. Iconic Find says C's. He claims C. C? Okay. So thank you. D for three says. Uh, um, Ricky Spanish. Sold. Okay. Three. Rivers, you can just pay in person, man. You pay us. Yeah. With blood. Um, okay. Let's see. All right. So the, the question was, what uh, what cartoon made by an anchor man uh, that did not hit came out, uh, uh, blew up in 2022 when it was re-released for DVD? Okay. We have A for five, B for five, C for five, and the new D is going for what? 
All five, man. Everything's five. Ooh, look at that. ASM 120 right there. Hulk versus Spider-Man. I need money. Five bucks right there. Five dollars, Buster. Buster. <laughs> okay, D is an iconic cover. Yeah. Okay, let's go. A, B, C, and or D. Let's move it. A and B, please. Do we have a guess to break the tie? What was the... Uh, what was a cartoon that never really hit, uh, made by an anchorman that blew up and actually got popular after its re-release in 2022? Look at that right there. Ultimate Fallout number one. The uh, this is the hollow foil Miles Morales cover. We have the Virgin variant of the red cover, same book, uh, going for five. All right, D for four. Says uh, Ricky Spanish. Sure. Okay, Sacred Science is soul. Awesome, Ricky Spanish. Great fucking pull, man. C and D are fire. Okay, C, let's remove that and put another book up. Sex Panther. Sorry, wrong anchor, man. Oh, you're not that far off. Time. All I can say is there is a cartoon that was made by a certain anchor, man. All right, look at that. Venom, Lethal Protector, number three. That awesome fucking cover right there, Agents of Shield. Um, that right there is going for $5 under best offer. We're going to move A and B. They're gone. We have uh, the Alex Ross Rhino cover right then and there. Fucking five schmackers. Amazing Spider-Man, 543, uh, where they, uh, what was it, Mephisto? It was somebody that makes uh, them not married anymore. So uh, spider Man single, so there you go. Pep has his chance. $5, Spider-Verse, oh. Spider-Boy, going edge of for $5. B for five into my Spock box. Abso fucking lootly, man. Sacred Society says sold. Was it was it that amazing Spider-Man, uh, Spock, just to reiterate? Or is it uh, was it the Miles Morales one, the red cover? Black Panther asks uh, George. I'm, uh, I guess he's asking for Black Panther. Does anyone want to? Jamie's not far off on the guess. Maybe one of the people that was in Anchorman. Was that the Drats? Was I was looking for the red cover. No, 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 the red cover. The red cover. Yeah, you got it, Spock. We got you, man. Okay. Spock Bach rocks. Yeah, we got you, bud. No worries. Okay, let's go and swap out a few. Boom. My last of the Doom. All right. Do shop books after this. All right. On A, we have uh, Spider Man number 234. Right then and there with the Iron Spider black suit, black and gold. Uh, black and yellow, black and yellow, as I've been heard, uh, been told before, was Spot and uh, Sandman, Hobgoblin, and I see two other people, but I can't see on the, com uh, the computer. Amazing Spider-Man number 26, uh, this is the spoiler variant, on B, and then we have Extreme Venomverse number one on C going for five, and then we have the uh, number two, uh, the very... The variant, variant of it going for five. Yeah, also, man, love you too, bud. Okay, five, 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 all there. Does anyone want to guess? No, that was my answer for the show. Oh, sorry, brother. No, not Black Panther. It was, do you mean Black Dynamite? Um, there was a what uh, cartoon that flopped that was made by an anchor man. I'll say this on Adult Swim that didn't do so well. That came out years later and blew up when DVD sales came back. What was it? Okay, A, B, C for five. These are the last ones for bootleg for tonight, and we have the big D. Anybody want to take a crack at it? And they're gone. Okay. Shop boots. Boom, jigga, boom. Ooh, powers. Is that number one? Yeah, it is. 
Grumble number one. The thing. Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, almost. Uncanny X Men five forty four and seven hundred. Uh, hey, uh, iconic. Do you happen to have that, dude? The Boondocks, no. But Boondocks were actually pretty popular when they came out. But unfortunately, if you ever get a chance, look for the band episode. The band episode about Tyler Perry is fucking on point, dude. Uh, iconic. Would you happen to have Uncanny X Men five forty four or seven hundred? Or does anybody in the actual chat have those? For our boy Spock. I know he's been asking for the past few uh, uh, months. C for three says, um, Ricky Spanish, absolutely, man. They're yours. Powers number one, Grumble number one. For anybody that uh, has not read Grumble, imagine a uh, Bo, uh, was it Bojack Horseman meets uh, the pug uh, Frank from Men in Black. Pretty good series. So C, going to Ricky Spanish for... Three dollars. Is it for a thing or? Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't think you priced it. Any of it. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Uh, but D is going for uh, fifteen. Uh, this is Swamp Thing number fifty. The first, uh, the first team up unofficially, but the first time you see the entire Justice League Dark put together. 15? First Justice League Dark is going for twenty, and Powers is going for uh, ten. Grumble is going for ten. Afro Man, no. Are you talking about Afro Samurai? Uh, the thing when he has to wear a mask because of Wolverine. A hey. Harvey Birdman, no. Good guess, but no. All right, on C. You. Ooh, Grumble with the Goon. There you go. Ten for one uh, for both books. X Men, right there. We'll do that one for five. All right, guys, if you guys are local and you want to come and play some cards tomorrow night, if you guys want to play some board games, you want to go ahead and help us build some Gundams, you guys can come over tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We have it every Saturday night if you guys want to come on down. I Want Swamp Thing says C. Ray. Absolutely, man. Sacred Society says sold. C. Ray. Absolutely, man. Go and DM us at Sacred 8 Studios, please, or message us. Uh, bootleg, I'm going to DM you, says Spock. Space Ghost, no, to D-. minus. All right, thank you so much, man. That goes to you. All right, Adventure Into Fear with the man thing. Adventure Into Fear, number 15. Look at that class cover right there. Going for 20 and our best offer. Bam, bam, thank you, man. The Brack Show, no, good guess, though, man. You're getting closer, getting warmer. It's Christian again on YouTube now. Oh, hey, what's up, playboy? Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, just DM us, or you can come pick it up, man. Please. All right, let's go and move A and B, please. Swamp Thing is OP. Absolutely. He's also a houseplant when you want him to be. Okay, look at that right there. Spectacular Spider-Man and Secret Wars number seven. Both of these are going for $10 and our best offer. Ooh, baby. And good on you for none of you guys doing the fucking thing that some of the East Coast guys do where they look online. Fuck them. Okay. Uh, I love me some Swamp Thing movie. Absolutely. Venture Bros. No. All right. Squid Billis. No. Actually, for anybody that doesn't know, in the in the back corner, can you point your hand right above? You see the, the my painting in the back? The painting? Yep. Yeah, behind Secret Wars. Point your hand towards it. Okay, uh, move your hand to the left. Move to the left, like move it. Actually, move it right there. Down. That painting that he's pointing at right there. Thank you, sir. That painting right there is a guy now known as Unknown Henson. He is a rockabilly dude. He's not for everybody's taste. He's a little bit of an old cahoot. But if you ever get a chance to go ahead and listen to his music, um, again, not for everybody's taste, that is the voice of the grandpa of the Squidbillies. So just to let you know, a uh, big old rockabilly guy. Okay, Frisky Dingo, no, I'll take B for 10, says D-Minus Show, Sacred, uh, Sacred Size is sold. D for 10, 
Uh, apps of fucking lootly. Was, was it the new one or the old one? I believe that is it. This one right now. Uh, Deadpool Encyclopedia. Is that the one you're looking at, Ricky Spanish, or was it the man thing? If it was man thing, then I'll take um, I'll take fifteen for it, man. If you're interested, please. Uh, is there a Squidbillies comic? Yes, there is a Squidbillies comic. Uh, it was only a four part issue. If you can find any of the Adult Swim ones or the Cartoon Network, they are worth quite a bit of money, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and take away A. Um, C is going to go for five. B is going to go for five. The so nice house on the lake. And two, though. Yep, and just to get it out there. So you said five or ten? Which one? For C. No, A is uh, B is C. I'm sorry. B is B C. is fucking five. C is going for twenty. Okay. Um, and A is going for five. Sorry. Fifteen sounds good. Thank you so much, man. Ricky Spanish. Sacred Society says sold. Man thing. Man thing. Yes. Sweet. Okay. I'm telling too much now. Rock uh, Rockabilly was the first time I ever heard the word when I was in the loony bin. Uh. <laughs> Uh, home movies, another great guest, George, but uh, no, sorry, Jail. The weird CGI show with the snake can, no. Okay, I'll let you guys have another minute with that, and if not, then it's gone. First, my uh, Maestro going for 20 for one and two on the Hulk on C. We got B, nice house on the lake, number one, if you like a good horror story. For those who like something that's killing the children, going for five, we have the uh, Street Fighter Omega. Uh, that is going for one. Uh, I'm sorry, that is going for five on uh, A. And then on the big D, we have Encyclopedia Deadpool. That one is going for 20 and our best offer. Is that Deadpool Encyclopedia still available? Yes, it is. D minus right there, buddy. For you, we could do 10. Uh, final space, no. Okay. The question was what cartoon uh, made on Adult Swim by a famous anchorman? Was a flop, but blew up after its 22, uh, 2022 DVD release. The answer is The Oblongs. I used to fucking love that show. If you've ever watched it, it's basically a radioactive family and a really fucked up uh, step for wives. Like, uh, you, what was that movie with uh, Toby McGuire and Kirsten Dunst? Oh, Pleasanton? Pleasant, uh, Pleasantville. Pleasantville. Pleasant, Pleasantville. Pleasantville, yeah. Pleasantville, it's yeah. basically Pleasantville with radioactive people and Will Ferrell as the father. Oh, yeah, it's fucking amazing. Uh, C with Hulk as a bargain. I can't buy it, though. I need to pay my debts first. No, you can add it to your thing, bro. Just let me know. I'll take uh, take it for 10, please. Okay, Sacred Society says sold. Thank you so much, man. D minus or? Uh, for, yeah, for uh, uh, Deadpool. This one? Yo, can someone, anyone grab me the first Street Fighter Akuma comic that's coming out in the future? Absolutely, man. Uh, I talked to D Minus Show. That's Dadpool. He can pick it up for you at Intergalactic Imports. We can order you anything. If you guys are looking for new stuff and you want to order it, we can. But in case you just want to order, uh, grab it straight off the shelf and don't want to wait and pre order it, man, even though that's kind of what you're doing right now, uh, you could do it either way over there uh, with uh, Dadpool. Okay. Xavier Rend, Renegade Angle. Oblongs. I love that shit. Absolutely, man. If you've never seen the Oblongs, absolutely fucking you in jail fucking watch it dude they re-released it on dvd and remastered it it's fucking rad um okay on number one uh, on a transformers the movie number one this is our last one we uh that one is going for twenty dollars one in three series issue we have berserk uh berserker number one for those of you that like cyberpunk mixed in with john wick keanu reeves book right then and there uh, number one, Near Mint. That one is going for 45 and or best offer. And then we have Redneck, number one. If you've not read Redneck and you like yourself a dirty, gritty fucking kind of book, uh, like if you really love the original Walking Dead, that one's going for 20 and or best offer. And then on the very last one, we have the Big D, Fantastic Four, 59. Uh, what is the pr uh, price tag? 75. 75. We'll let it go for 50. 50 tonight. Doomsday, the classic fucking cover with Black Bolt on there. AC claimed, uh, I believe so. Dude, if you haven't read Redneck, read it so good. Absolutely, man. C to Iconic Find. Sacred Society says sold. A. Uh, Spock, is that, what, uh, is that what you want, bud? Let me know. These are the last ones for tonight, people. 
Thank you guys for also hanging out with us all night, man. We really appreciate it. No, it's a Friday night. You could be doing anything better than hanging out with us, but you do. All right, man. Absolutely. Direct edition, my dude. Second side, it says sold to Spock. That goes to you, bud. Which one? Uh, a. Spock. Yeah. Cool. We have Berserker number one, and we have Fantastic 459. All right. I'll take the Transformers. Uh, no, man. You got it. It's all yours. Claim sale. All right, last two for the night. Does anybody want one of these? Make us an offer. If not, we are going to close up for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with ourselves here at the Sanctorum. You have us over here, Sacred Eight Studios, myself, Brushes of Doom. You have I Am the Smile Ghost. You have Vato Out of Time. You have Deathmatch831 as your tattooers. We have uh, Dadpool, the D-minus show over here, also known as Captain Muggins. Oh, Blunty Comics, what's up, dude? I know, I know you're here late, but we're right about to close. But we have our last two, if you want to see. We have Fantastic Four, 59, uh, for 50 bucks. And our best offer, and Berserker number one. Uh, wait, who wins? It's a tie. So basically, when you guys come in, I'll get you guys either one, dude. You guys have always supported. Uh... Blunty, if there are any books that you saw, man, if you go back and you want to go in there, uh, you let us know and DM us, and we'll make sure that either myself uh, as Sacred Eight or Bootleg can get it to you. Uh, also, to uh, fucking who else? Sanzu at Sprinkles of Doom, who is our resident uh, artist as well as our online mom momtriarchy and our resident music uh audio file if you want to learn some more music stuff go to sprinkles of doom check her out as well as um big woo killer motors our other man on behind the scenes please go ahead and check out everything that you can and support bootleg comics one of our brothers one of our main man over here that goes over here to our boy pep what up so if you guys have purchased anything tonight, hit up Bootleg Comics. If you purchase from him, he will have them here. Um, or you, he can ship them out to you, and you can pay him there. You got 24 hours. Then you have us here at Sacred Day Studios. As always, fam, thank you guys for a great show. We love you all. Have a good night, and thank you for the great